guys snapped. Okay, go. Stop, stop. Today we're gonna be making glob jam cake. First, we need one and one third cup flour. One third cup of noodle milk powder. Powder? I'm <laughs> sorry. Now we can mix. Now since we mixed it, we can put it in another plate. Now put it put this to the side. We're ready for the next step. We're gonna take a clean bowl and then we're gonna do one cup of sugar. Then one cup unsalted butter. And then three fourths grounded anica. And then mix with the spatula. You might, some people might mix with this, but to make it easier, I'm gonna mix with this. You might need some parent help. four eggs and put them in one at a time. This egg, and then we It's time for the next egg. It's finally time for the last egg. Next, a half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. that we did earlier, we're going to bring it back, the non-fat milk plus the flour, and now we're going to put it slowly together with this new mixture. About that much. A little bit more. Now, a little bit more. Last, we're certainly not least. Put the mixture to the side and take a little bit of butter. And then, this is my container that I'll be putting the thing in, the mixture in, and baking it. And then let's put butter on the side. You can go all crazy and do it with your should look like this with all the butter in it. And now we have to put the mixture in. If you want, you can have hands. It should look like this now. Bring it out and to get all the air bubbles out, you put this on the ground and try to do this. Then it'll get all the air bubbles. Since we're all done, we can go put it in the oven, 325 Fahrenheit to 35 minutes to 40 minutes. Okay guys, this is a cake that we made and it looks really good and it smells really good. I wish you guys can smell it, but you guys can't. Now we're going to make the syrup for the glob jam cake. It looks really good. It's one cup of sugar. One cup of water. And then you mix it a bit. And make sure the fire is on. <laughs> now to add the spices, a half teaspoon saffron, 
one to three inches of a cinnamon stick and an eight slightly crushed alica. As you can see, it's boiling. So, after it's boiled, you can turn it off. You add one teaspoon of rose water. And then add two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then you slightly stir. Drain the new and sweet mixture so all the things can go on the top and you can only have the mixture. Now when the syrup's done, we have to poke some holes so it can drip down into the cake. Just stir it a little bit apart to make sure there's still holes. All the way to the cake. Trust me, it's going to be really good. Alrighty, now since it's all to cool down, and when you pour it in, remember to just say one fourth for later. Take one and a half cup powdered sugar and the rest of the one fourth pour it in and stir it mix. Should look like this. Flip the cake. You might need some parents' help with this, but it was pretty fun. We had to, um, it took a little while. Now, you know the sauce that we made? Well, that's the frosting, and we have to put it all over the cake. It's cool, huh? It broke a little, but that doesn't really matter. I got a little piece of paper. Enjoy it if you